wasted no time in attacking President Trump in his opening monologue at the 69th Emmy Awards show this year. Stephen Colbert launched into criticism of President Trump just minutes after he began his opening monologue, bashing the president for failing to receive an Emmy for his Celebrity Apprentice TV show, implying that Trump would be tweeting furiously about the event later tonight. What a year it has been for television, said Colbert, the industry is booming there are over 450 original scripted shows made this year. Of course there's no way anyone could actually watch that much TV, other than the president, who seems to have a lot of time for that sort of thing. Hello sir thank you for joining us. Looking forward to the tweets. That's alright. Don't worry. I, I think she really believed me that I love having a baby crying while I'm speaking. Colbert then took a swipe at failed presidential candidate Ted Cruz, who recently was involved in controversy, after a staffer liked a porn video from Cruz's Twitter account. There have never been more platforms to get your TV than right now. You have broadcast, cable, Amazon, YouTube, Hulu, Vudu, Netflix, Vitamix, Crackle, Crumble, Bumble, and Intimarestu.com. Dan Moore has a 10 episode deal with Martin Scorsese. Rumor is Leave Screeber is playing a brooding chunk of meat. Of course these days everybody loves streaming video. Just ask Ted Cruz. But knock first you don't want to just walk in. Colbert's attention soon turned back to Trump. But, if we are honest with ourselves, and as artists I think we have to be honest with ourselves, we know that the biggest TV star of the last year is Donald Trump. I mean, I like him. He's the biggest star. And Alec Baldwin, obviously. You guys are neck and neck. And Alec you're up against a lot of neck. However you feel about the president, and you do feel about the president, you can't deny that every show is influenced by Donald Trump in some way. All the late night shows, obviously. House of Cards. The new season of American Horror Story. And of course next year's Latin Grammys, hosted by Sheriff Joe Arpaio. Muay Kaleent. And we all know the Emmys mean a lot to Donald Trump, because he was nominated multiple times for The Apprentice, but he never won. Why didn't you give him an Emmy? I tell you this, if he had won an Emmy I bet he wouldn't have run for president. So in a way this is all your fault. I thought you people loved morally compromised and to heroes. You like Walter White. He's just Walter much whiter. And he never forgave you and he never will. They keep that camera pinned to my face. They don't even want to show what's behind me. They keep that camera pinned to my face. Of course what really matters to Donald Trump is ratings. You gotta have the big numbers. I certainly hope we achieve that tonight. Unfortunately at this point we have no way of knowing how big our audience is. Scene, do you know, said Colbert, as former White House press secretary Seen Spicer appeared on stage with a prop podium. Nice reporter, now the poor guy, you gotta see this guy. Oh, I don't know what I said, oh, I don't remember. He's going like, I don't remember, I thought, oh baby, that's what I said. 